I'm Jay Agarwal. I'm a professor of surgery and the chief of the division of plastic surgery here at the University of Utah and at the cancer hospital at the Huntsman Cancer Institute. We're talking about uh, breast implants that are placed uh, for both cosmetic and reconstructive reasons. Breast implants come in different varieties, uh, silicone filled implants, saline filled implants, and also one of those varieties are the surface type of the implants. Some of the implants are smooth and some have textured surfaces. Over the past decade or so, the FDA and the American Society of Plastic Surgeons has been tracking outcomes in patients who have had breast implants placed, whether for reconstructive reasons or cosmetic reasons. And over the past few years, we've found an association between a very rare type of lymphoma and, uh, and breast implants. And it's an ALCL type of lymphoma. And it, it seems that the association is with textured surface implants. The FDA has recalled the texturing that's called BioCell, which is on both implants and tissue expanders um, manufactured by Allergan. So here at the Huntsman um, Cancer Institute, um, we no longer use any textured implants or tissue expanders, but just to set patients' minds at ease, um, number one is it's very rare to develop this form of lymphoma. Uh, number two is, on average, it presents about 10 years after a patient has had implants in place, a textured implant in place. Uh, and the most common presenting symptom, about 70 to 80 percent of patients that have been identified to have ALCL of the five to 700 worldwide, the most common presenting symptom is what we call a seroma. And that's a spontaneous fluid buildup around the implant. And that can present as sort of this feeling that there's tightness or fullness in the breast or enlargement of the breast, or even sometimes that there's feels like there's fluid around the implant. Very often when patients have breast implants placed, they're given a card and that card tells them the type of implant and the serial number of the implant. But even if you don't have that card, you can call your surgeon's office and they'll be able to tell you whether you have textured implants or not. Both the FDA and the medical community is not recommending that patients routinely have their textured implants removed. If a patient is having symptoms, for example, swelling of the breast, redness, um, or they feel a new mass in the breast, they should see their physician and have that investigated. Um, but the average patient who does not have any symptoms does not need to have their implants removed. For patients that would like to get any additional information on this, uh, there are a number of resources. One is they can always look at the FDA's website, the American Society of Plastic Surgeons um, website. They can um, come to the Huntsman Cancer Institute website where information about this is posted, as well as the Cancer Learning Center where uh, uh, information is available to any patient that has concerns or just wants to read up on this.